happens to the things you love. We spend our lives searching for the meaning in life, and we ask the gods for guidance. But the truth to life is revealed when we can face death without fear. How can the gods understand us if they refuse to die themselves? She remembers him. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hoth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hoth is slain. You killed him. He couldn't see the darkness within you. Listen to your father when you had the chance. Why didn't you listen to him? This love has tortured you, and it tortures them. Precious to you. 
saw that she was strong. He didn't believe that she was cursed. He saved you when everyone else turned their backs. You're Cannot be undone. Everything is broken in the end. You killed him with your love because he believed in you. Nobody will love her now. Can you remember what love feels like? What happens to the thing she loves? She destroys the thing she loves. You're still alive and Dillian's dead. He doesn't deserve to be dead. How does that make you feel? Shh. 
should have listened to her father. Why didn't she listen to her father? She thought she could defy her father. He believed in you. Within her she is pure darkness. You have no chance for love now. Nobody will love you again. Ever, ever again. Are you kidding? How the gods warned Balder. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. You are guilty. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Balder's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Balder's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. Your curse has claimed Dillian. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. Of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. You are guilty. You will always sting your You have no time for this. Speedy. These rooms mean nothing. It's all part of their game. They've set your trials to distract you. They've set you up, and now they're going to watch you. What if these trials mean nothing? This is laughing at you. What if they take you no closer to Dillian? That's Dillian, and you're letting this get in the way. What if they are just to tire you out? To make you weak before the battle.
Dillian saved you from them. He was the only one that really loved her. He did love her. He was the only one that really loved her. He did love her. What if they're all about wasting your time? Just delay love things like by minute by minute. <laughs> <laughs> what does she think she's doing? She she's <laughs> You're not special. She thinks she can rule. <laughs> they mean nothing. Being special. It's a, it's a waste of time. It could all be a waste of her time. What if the gods are just toying, playing with her? What if the gods are laughing at her? Messing with her It wouldn't be this. It wouldn't be the first time. Grief. The gods send Hermod to ride to hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. He was the only except one. for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let Hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. He's the reason she keeps fighting. that are most precious to you. Damon didn't deserve this. Look what happened. Everything gets broken in the end. You've killed him with your love because he believed in you. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face 
so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. He saw who she could be. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior within. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere? But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if they're a trick? The gods were lying. I think it makes sense, but really, the gods are playing with you. Ruth, it makes sense you in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in the darkness. Words. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't look at this and what you don't understand. Say that was right. You're wasting time. Dillian never much cared for the underworld, and looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes, slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. That's it. Quicker. Quicker. Be quick. Be quick. Careful. Don't worry. Oh, no. Where's he gone? It's your fault. He's disappeared. You've lost him. Genoa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world that you and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares? Or is this the price you pay? What if this is gift? Yeah. What if you're wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will give them issues for special in my <gasps> What if this is just the end? Part. It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You're being tested. You I don't know. For the world. It's just a game you for it. You never know which way it's going to go. Because <laughs> I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. 